Hey you, are you a talented musician? Have you spent years honing your skills, becoming the best musician you can possibly be? Well, give up now because that is not what the labels want. Last night I came across the story that Atlantic Records lost their fucking minds and any sense of human decency by signing the human culture dumpster, Danielle Bergoli, otherwise known as the Cash Me Outside Girl. This, in the wake of her debut video hitting 23 million views in the last 16 days on YouTube. Now, I'm not gonna insult you by calling this floor sweeping of a song a music video, and here's why. Yeah, she's got a voice that sounds like a cross between a leaf blower and fingernails on a blackboard. But yeah, 23 million views. <laughs> Oh, how I long for the days of when Rebecca Black was a star. Friday, Friday, down on Friday. Now what's more is Atlantic Records even publicly stated that without a doubt, this girl is a real star with undeniable talent. Hey Atlantic Records, could you please stop giving executive positions to very stupid people? Like seriously, do the human race a favor and burn this fucking contract. You're not helping anyone here. I mean, this girl is so trashy, they kicked her out of her trailer park for bringing down property values. Her song is so bad, I am starting to hear the redeeming qualities of the band Trapped. This song is so terrible, it can't be anything but a hit. So to all you kids out there studying music at Berkeley, Juilliard, and other world-renowned music schools, I know you've worked your asses off to get there, but unfortunately the world no longer gives a fuck. I mean, why study music when you can just vomit up a few words into a mic and let far more talented people auto-tune the living shit out of it for you? Sadly, this girl is probably going to be set for life. But then again, we can all hope that she forgets that her record advance is seen as income by the government and forgets to pay taxes on it. That little scenario has been the downfall of many, many stars in the past. Or we can really hope that Atlantic gives her a 360 deal. Now that's where the label takes a chunk of merch and ticket sales on top of the usual fuck over the artist clauses in the contract. Note to bands out there, if a label offers you a 360 deal, tell them to go fuck themselves. It is the worst possible thing you can sign. Release your record on your own because you'll lose less money. So why am I even ranting about this? Doesn't the record industry put out crap all the time? Absolutely. I mean, we've had some pretty awful shit in the past to endure. Millie Vanilli, Vanilla Ice, MC Hammer, Limp Biscuit, and of course, Nickelback all come to mind. Now, even though those are all total shit, some of those acts even have some actual musicians mixed in there. I mean, seriously, I think I'd rather listen to Nick Jonas fuck up a guitar solo. Or Kanye West, Massacre Bohemian Rhapsody. At least he fucking tried and without autotune, no less. You know what, Kanye? Good for you. It's nothing that a good solid decade of vocal lessons won't fix. At least you're honest about it. Which is more than I can say for Bonehead Barbie or whatever the fuck she's trying to make into a stage name for herself these days. I know like these hoes. Don't compare me to no one. Yeah, you gotta love the accompanying comment pinned to the top. Stream this now and blast it out your car, you bad bitches. You ready for some more music? You know what? I think we're all ready for any music, preferably from somebody else with some actual fucking talent. Calling that sonic turd you crapped out music is really pushing it even by today's standards. Now look, I'll be the first to admit I don't know jack shit about hip hop, but I don't have to be a sewer worker to know what shit smells like either. Can music get any worse? Hang on, I'm not sure if I want an answer to that question. But given that blowhard pop stars like this tend to have a very short shelf life, we can only hope that Bad Dysentery or whatever the fuck her name is this week goes bye bye sooner rather than later. I swear, we are watching a VH1 behind the music in the making, and we all know this one's not gonna have a happy ending.